Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we are going to be creating this kind of cool text effects slash what I'm calling pattern letters in Adobe Illustrator from scratch. Jamie sent me this image a couple weeks ago and asked how to recreate it and I thought it was an awesome idea. So here we are. We're gonna create it together and once we're finished, you can kind of combine letters and create really cool headlines um, for layout design or maybe even a logo type if you'd like. Um, so super fun and we're gonna jump right in and it's actually a lot simpler than it probably looks, but that's kind of you know the fun of it. So I'm gonna give you these color builds first. We're using this teal and we're using a pink, but by all means use whatever colors you'd like. Just keep in mind we do have this kind of blend mode going on where we create a third color by default. So you want to choose two colors that when they're combined or overlaid on top of one another, they create a pretty color instead of like a an ugly brown or dirty color. I didn't particularly like this example with the orange and the blue, which is why I opted for um, the teal and the pink. But I'm working in RGB just so you can see things a little brighter on screen. Um, so my teal color right here, this is the color build for that. And then the pink is right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is just type out your letters, um, whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna keep this really basic and do ABC. You obviously have permission to deconstruct these however you'd like. Um, I'm just showing my method for doing this. Obviously, everybody's got a different way of doing things, but this is how I prefer to do this particular look. So I'm just gonna type out ABC, and you want to make sure you're using a very bold sans serif font. That part's going to be important. The font I'm using for this example is called Novacento Wide Bold. Here it is right here. It's actually a free font, so I will put a link in the video description um, so you can go over and pick that up and then you can follow right along. Okay, so now that I've got my letters all typed out, what I'm gonna do is just convert them into shapes right away. So this is not going to be editable after you do this part. Um, so just a heads up, we end up creating artwork out of these, so it's not typable letters. They're actually little pieces of artwork. Um, so just keep that in mind. So we're gonna go object, expand, or you can go type, create outlines, and it does the exact same thing. So now these are shapes, but they're still grouped together, so we're gonna ungroup these, and shift G or control shift G on APC. So now I can move these independently of one another. So we're gonna tackle the A first and then we'll head on through the rest of the letters. Um, everything will get really, really simple after this. So the first thing we're gonna do is split up our letter the way that we want it to. So once again, you can kind of choose whatever stroke you'd like to put your pattern in. Um, and then we've got this funky color overlay happening right here. So I'm gonna break mine up just like this. So the way that I do this, this is my own personal preference, is I hit the P key on my keyboard for my pen tool. I click anywhere up here, and then I come and hit this point of the A, then I come and hit, I can even zoom in here a little bit. You can see I've kind of got a flat top of um, the inside of my A right here. So I'm gonna click on that one, click on this one, so I'm following it all the way down and hit this point just to make sure I'm fully separating this whole part. So I'm gonna connect this and now I've got the shape around it and then I'm going to make sure my A is selected, hold shift, select this new shape that we just made, come over to your Pathfinder palette, you can get to that by going Window Pathfinder and you're just gonna hit this divide icon right here and then you're gonna ungroup Command Shift G or Control Shift G and now we can select the extra parts that we don't need and just delete those and now we can click on this and hold shift and drag and that separates it. And you can see we've got a little bit of leftovers right here, which we can just select and delete and just kind of clean up any place that might seem a little ugly here. I don't really like this notch that we've got and you can see we've got this invisible inside, which we can also select and delete out of there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just grab my delete anchor point tool, click on that and just get rid of that. Okay, so now we're looking like we're in pretty good shape and we can just kind of move this a little closer and I like having this kind of gap right here between the pattern and the colors. So now we need to create this kind of pattern that we're gonna set within the stroke. So the way that I did this was I just grabbed my rectangle tool. You can also grab it by hitting M on your keyboard. And I just drew out a long skinny rectangle and then just color drop this teal color right up here. 
And then if you hold shift and you rotate, you can rotate in 45 degree increments. So if you want a really sharp angle like that, you can do that or you can freehand it. So I kind of freehanded it just like that. Um, and then what I did was I made a copy of it. So I hold alt, click and drag to keep it nice and straight. And then I come in close and I double click on my blend tool right here. So just double click. And then I choose specified steps because I know I want a whole bunch between here. Um, and I started out with 50 and that seemed to work well for me. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then you just wanna hover until you see the star and then click and then hover until you see the plus show up for your second one and then click and then I'll put them in there. This seems like too many for this. So I'm gonna double click here. I'm gonna reduce this down to like 35 um, because I have these ones a little closer together and that feels good. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is separate these. You can see these are all individual and this one's got this kind of line right here. So in order to do that, all you have to do is go object, expand, hit okay, and now we are all set and they are grouped together. You can see they move as a unit, which is important. So the next thing we're gonna do is make a copy of this. So hold alt, click and drag and hover over your, um, your stroke that you wanna fill with this pattern and then we're gonna send it to the back. So the keyboard shortcut for that is command shift open bracket or control shift open bracket on a PC and that looks like that. You can also right click, arrange, send it back and that'll do the exact same thing. So now you wanna select the stroke that you wanna set it inside of. Then you're gonna hold shift, click on this pattern block that you made, and then right click and choose make clipping mask and then it'll set it right in there. So that's looking exactly how we want it. And then we're going to select this piece right here. We're gonna eyedropper it, so hit I on your keyboard, select this teal color, and now we need to make a copy of this and we're gonna offset it a little bit. You can see the pink right here. So I like selecting it and then I'll hold Alt and then I'll just tap once with my down arrow key and then release everything and then you can continue tapping and that'll kind of offset it and you get a little more control um, with just tapping it yourself. And then you can hit I, select the pink. But now our pink is on top and we need it to be on the bottom so you can do that handy shortcut again the command shift open bracket or control shift open bracket or you can once again right click arrange send back and that'll put it back there so the last step that we need to make is having this blend mode so you can see the two intersect kind of in creating that third color so all you want to do is select this teal color come over here to your transparency palette and you can get to that by going window transparency and then you're just going to change where it says normal you're going to change this to multiply and then that's as easy as it gets um, so from here all you want to do is select everything and group it together and that way if you're arranging different words um, you can just select it and move it and arrange it however you'd like and it's all good to go from there so I'm just going to repeat the same exact process with the B and the C just so to reiterate everything to hit everything home so it's easy to remember um, so we're just going to tackle the B next which I'm just gonna go and hit my pen tool again, start down here. And now I'm gonna separate it just like I did before. And now I can move this away from my main part of the B. I'm gonna grab this. Once again, you wanna make sure you're making a copy. So hold Alt, click and drag, send it to the back, select your stroke and then hold shift and select your pattern, right click, make clipping mask, and then we're just gonna color this, make a copy. So with it selected, hold alt, tap once, release everything, and then you can tap a few more times, and then do the pink, send that to the back, and then change the blend mode of the teal to multiply. And there we go. You can see some of these ones have this under color um, kind of bleeding right into the pattern. You can definitely feel free to do that. I think um, keeping it separate like this makes the letters a little more readable. Um, so that's why I decided to do that. But by all means, it's your letters. Do whatever you prefer here. So for this one, because we don't have a, a predefined stroke, we're just gonna break this one up kind of right in the center 
similar to what the G is looking like right here, just because we want an even balance of pattern to color. So all I did for this one is hit M on my keyboard and then just draw a rectangle until I'm about halfway and then select both of these and divide them with my Pathfinder palette right here, ungroup, and then select those extra pieces and delete them out of there. And then I can toggle this away, make a copy of this, I'm holding Alt, send it to the back, select the portion of my C, hold Shift, select my pattern, right click, make clipping mask, and then I'm gonna, since these are two separate pieces, I'm gonna group these together first and then I'm gonna complete coloring them. So hold Alt, tap once, release, and then tap over if I wanna go over a little bit, send to the back, select my teal, come back to my transparency palette and choose multiply, and we're good to go. So once again, you just wanna make sure when you're all done with your letters, group them together, all your separate pieces so they stay together. And now you are all set. You've got some letters and you can start combining them to make words um, and finish off the alphabet even if you'd like. So that is how to create what I'm calling pattern letters in Adobe Illustrator from scratch. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. And once again, the link to that free font that's used throughout this tutorial is listed right in the video description. So check that out right there. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.